Hi guys, this is Felicia from Sethly.com. Today, in partnership with Grab Singapore, we're bringing you a simple homemade recipe, which is the air fryer roasted pork belly. So, unlike the regular shoba that we always eat, this will be a more westernized version, and instead of using five spice powder, we'll be using western herbs such as thyme as well as garlic. So, check it out. For the ingredients we are using today, they are all attained from a new service from Grab, which is called Grab Mart. So let's take a look at what ingredients we need. First, we have thyme. We also have this one, which is the sea salt, pepper, baking soda, vegetables such as um, potatoes and carrots. Of course, we need the garlic and most importantly, the pork belly. Fresh produce aside, Grab Mart also provides everyday essentials such as aluminium tray, paper towers, aluminium foil, and even pet items. This service is available on demand or scheduled anytime you want to use GrabMart. It's pretty easy to navigate through GrabMart. All you need to do is open the app and browse through the different categories such as groceries and snacks. Pick your merchants and you can get whatever you need delivered. So now we're going to start. Here I have a slab of pork belly and we are going to create the blisters on top of our shoba. So what you have to do to create these blisters or air bubbles is to poke your skin of the pork belly. And you want to use either your fork or they do have that tenderizer with um, a lot of needles which you can use. So I don't have that and I'm using my fork. Just poke throughout the entire skin. Be careful because you only want to puncture the skin and you don't want to go into the meat. So in order for the herbs to be fully infused into the meat, we'll create some slits at the bottom. And because my slab of meat is a bit on the longish side, so I'm going to cut it into half so that it can fit into my air fryer. So for our western style marinade for this roasted pork belly, we'll be using mainly garlic as well as some thyme and salt and pepper. So I have some pre-peeled garlic right here. Depending on how you like your marinade to be, if you like it to be a little bit more garlicky, you can use more garlic. For me, I would usually use around um, four to five cloves. Now, as for the thyme, you can see that they all come in the branches. So you don't really want the branches, you just want the leaves for the fragrance. So what I'll normally do is I would just peel the leaf off. So thyme has this woody, herbaceous fragrance, which I really like for this recipe. So in order for it to exude the fragrance more, you can just give it a little agitation by chopping it. So for all these ingredients for this roasted pork belly recipe, I got them from Grab. I actually ordered them yesterday and right on the day itself, they were all delivered. So it's guaranteed freshness. So we just need to mix the garlic and the thyme to make sure that they are fully incorporated together. So before we season our pork belly, we'll first um, preheat the oven. Put it at 180 for 5 minutes to season the meat. Don't touch the skin part, we turn it over to the lean meat. Season it generously with sea salt and pepper. So the reason why we use sea salt is because it's definitely better for your health. And it's also a little bit more salty as compared to normal ionized salt. After you put the salt and pepper, we just need to wrap the garlic generously at the bottom. So after marinating the pork belly, we're going to wrap them up in aluminium foil so that it will be cleaner when we use it in our air fryer as well. So this little aluminium box will help to hold your pork belly in place and it will also help to lock in the moisture. In order to ensure that the skin of your pork belly is crispy and light, you can wrap an equal amount of baking soda together with salt on top. So baking soda ensures that it is tender, while salt will draw out the extra moisture. And as you wrap, you'll realise that the pores of the meat will start perspiring, like there'll be water droplets appearing. And that's when you take a paper towel and you just dab it off. And as long as you realise that the water droplets stop appearing on the surface of the pork belly, then it's done. Some of the chef will call you to put the pork belly into the fridge and let it dry out for one day. You can do that if you have the time, but if you don't, just do this method because it's very easy and very fast free. Now that we are done with the marination, it's time to put our pork belly into the air fryer. For a pork belly at this size, it takes around half an hour. So depending on your pork belly, you have to adjust the time accordingly. Right, so we just pop this in. 
amp the temperature up to 190 and leave it at half an hour. So do remember to check on it at around 15 to 20 minute mark to make sure that your pork is doing alright inside. Let's take a look at it. Nice. So you can see it's all golden brown and it has these blisters on top. Let's cut into it and see how it looks inside. Be careful because it's really hot. Ooh, listen to the crackling. To go along with the western theme of our pork belly, I've prepared some roasted vegetables. So here I also use the air fryer to air fry some potatoes as well as carrots and both of them can also be bought through GrabMart. Here you have it. Fast free, delicious and crispy pork belly made using an air fryer. Mustard makes for a great condiment with this dish and you can also get it from GrabMart. Thank you Grab for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to give this recipe a try and check out GrabMart for all the ingredients you need right there for this recipe. Goodbye!